I'm Nivia. And I'm Evan. Today we're going to be investigating the importance of language. In recent news, we've heard of teens not only using their voices to rally movements, but also to create meaningful and lasting change. However, we also see teens who sometimes lose sight of the fact that their words have power. So today we're going to be interviewing some teens to get their perspective on the power and importance of language, as well as highlight a teen-led organization in the Valley to see how they've used their voices to make a difference. Because when we speak out against things that we see as issues, that is what allows us to be able to push for movements to change those problems. If you talk about it to a wide group of people, they'll talk about it to another wide group of people and another group and another group. They just use their emotions and stronger words to like appeal to others. They take for granted what like their words mean a lot of the time. We need to recognize the power that our language has, that even though we're teenagers and we may not have the ability to vote or some of these other responsibilities that adults do, we are becoming adults and we need to act as such. It's, we have to be very precise with how we say it, because a lot of people automatically just don't want to hear about things like period stigma, period poverty. So no, we have to be very appealing in that way, and also logical to the audience. If we really remember the golden rule and like actually like have morals using language and conversation, then probably we'd be like closer. It would just look like people listening to each other and trying to understand their perspectives. This should be the basis of everything that we speak about, that words of kindness bring more kindness and that words of hate bring more hate. We are the Arizona branch of the Youth Division of the National Women's March. So a lot of the politics and dialogue that's happening right now in Arizona isn't where we think it should be, and we think that the needs of a large majority of people aren't really being represented. So we are looking currently to increase access to menstrual hygiene products in Arizona. So we're hosting the um, period rally on October 19th, and we're going to have like, a lot of speakers there and legislators there, and that's all about like just proving that menstrual products for all menstruators is a human given right. After interviewing both students and the youth empowerment organization, we learned a couple of things. The first thing we learned was that we as teens need to better understand the impact and power of our words. That means thinking before we speak, whether that be in a small group setting or in a more public space. Regardless of the environment, we need to understand that only by first recognizing the power our words have can we actually create positive change in our community. Another thing we learned was the importance of respectful dialogue. In order to create lasting, meaningful change, we need to first respect the person we're having this dialogue with. And it's only through this respect that we're able to create change that lasts in our society. So we encourage you to speak confidently. Speak respectfully. And live golden.